Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind something to hold on to. There's so much in the world that changes. You look at your body, you look at the things around you. Sometimes the changes are positive, sometimes they're not. You need to look for something solid to figure out, okay, which is positive and which is not. Which is why you need to get the mind centered. Because it's from here that you can watch things with a little bit of detachment. You get a better sense of what changes in the mind are heading in a good direction, which ones are heading in a bad direction. Because those are the changes that are really important. As the Buddha said, the mind is so changeable that there is no analogy for how quick it is to change. So you have to be on top of that. At the same time, he says, you look for happiness outside, you try to base your happiness on things that change, and then you're going to end, end up with disappointment. Those are the two kinds of change that you have to watch out for. But it all comes down to the understanding in the mind and your own mindfulness. If you're mindful, it helps prevent the mind from changing too quickly. It also helps you to remember when you start placing your hopes on things that are unreliable, that you can pull it back and say, well, I can't base my happiness on these kinds of things. I've got to find something more solid. So that's what the Buddha provides us with, his recommendations for getting the mind centered and still. So that it doesn't change quite so much, and so you can see things more easily. Instead of you just running along with whatever changes, you, you step back and try to stay still right here. Then you can see other things change. Then you're more in control. And you're less of an enemy to yourself, less of a danger to yourself. So don't have this sense of the center inside. Find a place that's comfortable with the breathing. The breathing comes in, feels comfortable, goes out, feels comfortable. See if you can stay there and resist the temptation to go running off someplace else. This way, even though things in the world may change, but you've got something solid inside. And that can be your refuge.